In this video, I will show you the Adobe Express Quick Actions, and I'm going to focus on my favorite Quick Actions tools. So this is part one. In a future video, maybe I'll do part two. Let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Express, and I'm in a completely free account. I'm not in the premium account. And I'll just go here and click on the plus sign in the upper left corner. This is where I go to create various important documents like presentations, videos, web pages, etc. But hidden over here on the right, we have quick actions. And these are fantastic tools that can simplify many digital tasks that you may need to do. Now, a couple of these tools I've already covered in their own separate videos, and they are Remove Background and Animate from Audio. Both fantastic tools. Please check out my other videos that cover those. So beyond those two, what else do we have? The first I'd like to showcase is called Generate QR Code. So I'm going to click on that to get to this quick action. Let's say that I want to make it super easy for people to get to my channel homepage where they can see my latest videos and my playlists. All I have to do is click on the URL to highlight it. I'll copy that URL and then I'm going to paste it here into this text box. Just paste it in and I'll click outside the box and a QR code is instantly generated. This code will open this URL. So anyone that scans this with their smartphone will get a little pop-up that they can tap that will open to my channel homepage. I can adjust the style of the QR code if I want to. I could change it to dots or to this other kind of dots. I can change the borders a little bit. And all of these will work with the camera apps on different smartphones. And I can also change the marker center. So with those minor adjustments, I can then also click on color and make the QR code be one of these beautiful colors. Finally, I can choose the specific file format that I would like to download this as. Typically, PNG is what people choose, but if you want, you can change it to JPEG or SVG, and then just click Download. A copy of this QR code is put on your computer, you can then insert this QR code into a slideshow or into a Word document, or you can print it out and post it on a bulletin board or on a wall or whatever, and anyone that scans it will be taken to my channel homepage. Now, in many cases, you don't even have to download the QR code. You can just right-click on it, copy image, and paste it right into Google Slides or PowerPoint or Canvas, wherever you're going to put this QR code. I'm going to X out of that quick action. The next quick action that I want to spotlight is caption video. I'll select it and it opens up this screen where I can upload a video and this tool will automatically add captions to any video. So I'll click here and browse my computer for the video that I want to add captions to. Here it is. I'll just double click on it and it's going to upload this video into the Adobe Express quick action for captions. And there is a length limitation for your videos that you want to add captions to. In the free version of Adobe Express, the limit is five minutes or less. So this video is three minutes, 32 seconds. It should work fine. And Adobe Express is analyzing the words that are spoken in this video. And it's going to produce captions that the viewers will be able to see as they watch the video. There it is. And here are my captions. So right from the beginning of my video, the captions are there. If I fast forward, Forward through the video, you can see the captions continue. Now because the captions happen to be white and the background of my video in many cases is also white, I may want to switch to a different caption style. So I can just click to select this one. I think that's going to work much better. And we also have many others, some that are very colorful, some that are very simple, some tilted styles, and many other options. I can also turn on custom colors and adjust the colors that are used in the captions. Now, every once in a while, as you're adding captions, you'll find mistakes. Adobe Express uses artificial intelligence to try to figure out what you're saying and produce the captions, but it does make mistakes. And so you can click here to edit the caption text. Maybe this comma isn't necessary. I can just delete it and it's updated in the captions. When I'm done adding captions, I can either open this video in in the Adobe Express editor to make additional adjustments to the video. I could add some animations, some images, and other things to the video, or I could just download it as is. In this case, that's exactly what I want to do. So I'll click download, and my captions are being added into the video, and the final video is being rendered, and then it will download to my computer. It looks like it's finished downloading, and I can click to open it up. 
and play the video. There are my captions. Let's move on to the third example I want to share of the fantastic quick actions. And this tool that I'd like to show is Merge Videos. Here it is. I'll select it and then I will click or tap to add more than one video that I want to merge. So let's say these two videos are related and connected and I want to merge them together into one. All I did to select them was I clicked on the first one and then I held the control key on the keyboard and then clicked on the second one that I want to merge. I click open and those two videos are now being uploaded into Adobe Express and they are now part of the same file. If I want to, I could trim maybe the beginning or the end out of this video or this one. I could also choose to mute one or the other. I could duplicate one of these videos or both so that it kind of loops. And if I change my mind, I can delete either of these videos. I could also add an additional video if I want to here. When I have the two or more videos arranged the way I want them to be, I can go over here to change from landscape to portrait mode if I want to or to square. I'm going to keep it at landscape and then I could open it in the Adobe Express editor and add some animations and fun stuff that way but I'm just gonna click download and my final merged video will be downloaded to my computer and it's finished downloading I can just click to open it up and I now have my two files merged together into one Let's move on to the fourth and final quick action that I'll show in this video, and that is convert to GIF. There it is. I'll click on it, and then I'll click to upload a video. Here's the video that I want to convert into a GIF. This is a video of a geyser at Yellowstone National Park. And in this case, I want to convert this video into a small, low-quality animated GIF. I want it to stay landscape, and I'll click download and it's finished. There it is in my downloads and I can just double click to open it up and here is my animated GIF. Now it's so small because I chose to make it a small animated GIF but I could have chosen to make it a bigger one and that animated GIF can be added into a slideshow, it can be put into a learning management system or whatever it may be and it will look as if it's a video but be much smaller and it will loop. So those are four of my favorite Adobe Express quick actions. If this video is well received, I may make a part two and maybe a part three in this series. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you found the tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, become a channel member or click the thanks button or support me on my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. 